Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from MOYNews.com. All like almost stops. Let's get right to it. Hey, this one's going to be hard hitting and in your face. So if you're sensitive to content like this, hard critiquing of the Yankees, I suggest you just exit out or just leave your opinion down below. I love to uh, read your feedback so we can have a debate. But heads up, uh, trolls on this channel that leave profanity and ridiculous comments you will be banned because on this channel there is kids subscribed to this channel that are obviously interested in the Yankees like you once were as a child so please leave that profanity stuff out and keep it clean so Yankees fans I've become a fan of Miguel and the whore and I say this not in a way that I wasn't before I'm saying it in a way that I'm a fan of his to make the starting gig at third base because obtaining Brandon Drury was a monkey wrench thrown into the Yankees plans and I say this because yet again you had talk all offseason long that Miguel and the was going to be your third baseman you had all offseason long the talk about Torres being your starting second baseman now with the Brandon Drury trade you throw in a monkey wrench to even Didi Gregorius next year because you're going after Manny Machado who supposedly wants to play shortstop the real time that you were supposed to get Machado was now okay he was gonna pay for himself all that money generated for the Yankees his contract and everything else was gonna pay for itself now that I think of it I don't see Manny Machado being a Yankee next season like I said, folks, this Brandon Drury trade messed up a lot of plans for other players. We're already seeing it. We're seeing that the Yankees are marketing Drury as a everyday player at third base. And like I said, if the Yankees ain't going to make no moves for a starting pitcher and leave Van the Horn in the minor leagues, I mean, really? You guys had the Machado enthusiasts, the Mustakas fans, etc. promote the possibility of these players playing on your team for this season. These individuals went up against Andohar fans. It was a battle between two sides. Now, out of nowhere, Drury is added to that position, and now the Andohar fans are scratching their heads. So, in this situation, the Yankees did not listen to their fan base. And again, folks, Drury is a good player. But I'm talking about how your team was already stacked. You had players gunning for those positions. Now Didi Gregorius next year has a question mark next to his name as well. Because you're going after Manny Machado. And your infield is stacked. As of now, the Yankees have not traded any prospects for starting pitching. And let's not sugarcoat this, folks. Like two or three years ago, it would have been fine obtaining Brandon Drury. But fast forward now, we had the future on deck. Your prospects, your homegrown talent ready to take over. But yet again, a trade that was done in favor for the Diamondbacks was made. This was not Cashman going out and trying to obtain Drury. This was the Diamondbacks hitting the Yankees up because they knew they were interested in Drury for a long time now. And saying, hey, we need a favor. We need to add home runs to our lineup. We're going to make a trade with the Rays. Take Drury, and we're going to get Souza, who had 30 home runs. Subtracting it by 15, but that's a legit number. So, folks, nobody can tell me that this was a move the Yankees wanted to make. It was a move that came out of nowhere. For me, personally, I wouldn't have made this move. I would have had told the Diamondbacks, hey, where's the favor for us? We tried to move Ellsbury to your team. You didn't take him. So now you want us to trade for Drury and and add a whole bunch of question marks to our current players on our current roster and have them compete with this same player and just mix it up for 2019 as well with D.D. Gregorius because that's what's going to happen. Drury's already been marketed as your everyday third baseman. So at this point, I have no choice but to become a Miguel Andohar fan after having battles with Miguel Andohar fans. Hey, Miguel Andohar is a great player, but realistically let's be realistic here folks the yankees just subtracted with frazier with castro in total their home runs were about 
close to or over 50. Yeah, you replaced it with Stanton. Stanton was obviously an upgrade and in intimidation factor. But we're talking about upgrading your team. The Yankees would have been right-ins for the World Series easily if they would have obtained a offensive juggernaut such as a Mustakas or Machado. Let's be realistic here, folks. Now we don't know what's going to happen. Do the Yankees go after starting pitching? I heard the Rays are keeping Archer, so I highly doubt that at this point unless they're gunning for Fulmer of the Tigers. And to be honest, I don't see that either because he's under control for years and the Tigers would be really stupid to trade him. That's a player you build around. So I don't know, folks. I don't know what the Yankees are doing at this point because this trade just came out of nowhere and threw a monkey wrench yet again to the Yankees' plans. It's sort of like how Altani didn't want to sign with the Yankees and then they went here and there and everywhere and just went crazy, just ideas everywhere. So this is what's happening right now yet again. And like I said, Drury's a great player. I love him on this team. But like I said, we already had the pieces on this team. If it was like three years ago or two years ago, I would have been insane for him. I would have said, God damn, we got Drury. Good trade. Great trade. It is a great trade. But like I said, people have just lost their opportunities to make this ball club now. Miguel Landahor. Like I said, I have no choice but to be his fan now because he's an underdog. He's a player that was guaranteed that spot until Drury came along. Now, now I just have the feeling of just cheering Andahor along and hope he gets the third base nod. I mean, competition is great, but let's be realistic here, folks. Andahor's not going to see a lot of day at third base. The Yankees got Drury to play third base, and maybe they're going to skip out on Machado at this point because he wants to play shortstop. And like I said, with that addition of Drury, He's under your control for years. And like I said, if you gun for a Machado, Didi Gregorius becomes a question mark too. So yeah, folks, I don't understand this trade. It makes absolutely no sense to me. I know I'm ranting about it. I probably sound like a hater, but this is me being realistic. This, These are my real opinions. I'm not trying to make friends with the Yes Network, friends with the Yankees. This is my opinion. And as of right now, folks, the Yankees still don't have that ace to add to their rotation. We all know that the Yankees were gunning for Otani. They considered him an ace or a number two pitcher on their rotation. They did not get him. They went after Cole. They did not get him either. So the way I look at it now, as of now, folks, listen to that word, as of now, now. I don't see the Yankees finishing in first place in the AL East. It's going to come down to the Red Sox and the Yankees beating up on their division rivals. Then it's going to come down to what other teams did the Red Sox and the Yankees beat, like the Angels, like the Indians, like the Astros, etc. And as of now, the Red Sox have a superior rotation to the Yankees. Even Brian Cashman came out and said that as well, that the Yankees are a underdog. So, again, folks, the Red Sox upgraded with J.D. Martinez. They finished last in the American League in home runs and still won first place. As of now, Yankees fans, we are not offensively upgraded at third base. Sure, Drury's extra base hits might translate to home runs. But if you check his stats on the road, he was horrible. Okay? He was excellent over there in Arizona. So who knows how he plays in Yankee Stadium. Sure, he's a great player, but do we have time to experiment with Drury along with Andahar, along with Torres, along with all these other players, Clint Frazier, etc.? So if you're not training these players for pitchers, as of now, folks, like they should have done last year, Verlander was on the market, and nobody could tell me that the Yankees couldn't have gotten him. They would have made the moves easily to obtain them. That's the same mistake I see them doing now to start 2018 yet again. So if the Yankees can't get rid of Ellsbury and they just made a favor for the Diamondbacks, count it, they just made a favor for the Diamondbacks and previously for the Marlins and no other team in Major League Baseball can say, hey, we're going to do you a favor here, Yankees. 
we're going to take Ellsbury out of your hands. If nobody is saying that, if that's not getting done, I don't want to hear about the Yankees going out and obtaining a starting picture via free agency. As of now, I don't see it. As of now, I don't see the Yankees going after Archer. The Rays are holding on to him. Like I said, the only possible pitcher out there is maybe a former. I would have been happy at this point signing Mustakas for a year, adding that back to our lineup with that starting rotation. An offensive team like that could easily make it deep into the playoffs. But as of now, folks, as I see it now, the Yankees are a subpar second place team that is maybe ranked third in all of baseball or the American League at that behind the Red Sox Astros at number one. Folks, I'm being realistic here. I want the Yankees to get better. And as of now, sure, Brandon Drury is a great addition, but you just subtracted players or names from your team that were guaranteed to win those spots. And like I said, folks, I am now a Miguel Andohar fan. I'm going to be pulling for him. I'm going to be promoting him. If we don't have any other choice but Andohar and Drury, I'll pick Andohar, homegrown talent. He has speed. He has power. He's basically a five-tool player in the making. And like I said, folks, if I had a choice between Drury and Andohar, as of this point, I'll pick Andohar just for the simple fact that this was a monkey wrench thrown into the Yankees' plans. And, hey, I know behind the scenes some people are ticked off. Some Yankees fans were saying, hey, I was hoping Andohar started at third. I was going back and forth with all these Machado fans and Bustakas fans. Hey, the Yankees just ignored me. So, yeah, the Yankees ignored everybody in this instance. And like I said, folks, if I don't see Ellsbury being shipped off soon, the Yankees are just going to stick to this team they have now. And Yankees fans, let's be realistic. Do you feel comfortable with this team as it is as of now heading into opening day? Do you feel confident? Let's be realistic. Leave your comments and feedback in the comment section below. And also, George King of the NY Post. He wrote an article similar to what I'm saying right now. He said, don't crown Drury King of third base. They're still Andohar. Like I said, if you're a Yankees fan, you have to be cheering for Andohar. Sure, like I said, Drury's a great player. But it just added more question marks to players currently on the Yankees. That's where I'm getting at, folks. So, hey, like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from M1Ynews.com. I appreciate the subscribers. I appreciate the feedback. Hey, this has been hard-hitting and in-your-face. I'm not going to sugarcoat my opinions, folks. I want the Yankees to be the best product on the field. So, yet again, Yankees fans, share, like, and subscribe. Like always, I will check you all next time.